birthdays. I probably remember people's birthdays and stuff. Like, I haven't spoken to her since I was in year 11. But I remember that today is her birthday. Anyway, morning people, happy new week, happy Monday. It is the 18th of March. Welcome to TDA, the day after, your favorite news platform and the home of popular culture as defined by the culture. And as always, you're hosted by the best people. We'll introduce ourselves. It's your boy, Six One Plus Pure Temptation. Big marks from the east side of the bridge. Good morning, people. As always, the Shade Queen, my own royalty. Yep. The two Ghanaians. That'll do it. I was there to skip class. So good. Brent, are you up in here? Hi. Um, <coughs> morning, morning. Uh, I'm blessed and highly favored. Thank you very much for asking. How are you? I'm good, thank you, Brent. Lovely, lovely. Blessed, highly favored. Sanctified, saved, sanctified, sanctified, everything dipped in righteousness, child. Dipped. Righteousness. Amen. Uh, talking about dipping. Uh, godly matters. Oh. <laughs> how was the? How was your weekend, Max? Huh? How was your godly weekend? How was your weekend? Why was God going to do that? No, no you, can somebody go to heaven. Oh, your auntie. Oh, my aunt. Yeah. yeah. How was the funeral? How was it? Oh yeah, the funeral was all right. It was as good as it can, as one could hope. It was no drama. Up. No, there's none of that stuff. Huh? Did you turn up? No, 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 no. Well, I don't know what they done. I wasn't feeling well, so I went and played my part, and then I went home. Ah, uh, that's okay. Couple yeah. questions. Um, I saw a little conversation going on over the weekend about how people eat their hot cross buns. Okay. And I also saw you <laughs> say you can't have oven jerk. Oven possible. jerk. Yeah, you can't. Oh, you have to. You want it on the pan. It's an official joke, and it's, it's done on the grill. The key word was authentic. That's the word, though. That's the key word. I agree with that, though. Because I've jerked chicken in my oven before, but it's not authentic. It's not you can't, jerked, though, you is can't it? jerk chicken in the oven. There's the process of it, isn't it? It needs to be smoked. It needs to be on yeah. the pan. It's the whole jerking process. It's not like seasoning and stuff like that. It's a process, isn't it? So you can't make jerk chicken in your kitchen. Yeah. As a Nigerian, no, I knew that. See, there you go. So that's what I was saying. So I don't know. Yeah, there shouldn't really be no pushback. That was like plain as day. Question. Um, push back. <laughs> have you so sorry is it the the method of the 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 grilling is it a smoke that you're talking about mm. do you know that you can mimic that yes in the and oven it, yes how with uh, a smoke oven with, with a barbecue oven like, smoke it. no how can you mimic it talk to me I was asking I was trying to fill in your caps I don't know what you said question <laughs> do you know how funny that interaction was question Question. <laughs> Before I oh, go on to that, when you grill, can you grill on a gas oven? Can you grill on a gas oven? Oh, I get it. Yes. Is it authentic? Is it authentic grill? I get. It. I see where you're going, <laughs> but um. It's not the same, is it? There's a purpose. There's a feature on your oven where you can grill it, in it? You can use the grill, especially on the glass oven with the flames and all that. Old school. It's definitely more... You get me? It's different to going on a barbecue. Is it authentic? Hmm. I don't know. It's a tough one. Can you barbecue on a gas grill? An oven or a gas... What, outside grill? Yes. A gas one? Yes. Would it matter if it's going to be flames? If it's a barbecue, it's a barbecue. It's just like a hot plate, though, isn't it? I don't know. You're going around the houses to make a point. What do you want to say? No, don't do not do that. I'm, <laughs> I'm having a conversation with you. Okay, Two on. cookers. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you're you of the mindset that you can make jerk, authentic no, no, jerk don't do chicken. That, don't do that. I'll get there. I'm starting with the, the simple barbecue. Right? Okay, got it. Because when I go into people's backyard and they say they're having a barbecue, I'm expecting to see a particular thing. Type Sometimes of grill. I don't see a particular thing. Well, you want a Caligas and all that? Or what do you grill on? If it's a barbecue for you, what do you expect to see the grill setup looking like? I haven't. You said, you, you're you a serious grill man, isn't it? So I reckon. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, but I'm saying, I just reckon you got one of them. Grill grills, like with them Cajun man. You know the white Cajun. <laughs> you know the white Cajun man in Louisiana. I reckon you got like a grill, grill, grill. You get yeah, me? Yeah, the black Cajun man in Louisiana. 
I ain't seen them. <laughs> <laughs> the white people did a lot to it, and they put their rump. <laughs> they go crazy like, yeah, boy, got that sauce, boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, talk about cool, cool. I have a, I have. Yeah, a I assume you got one of them. I would have coal in the drum. I use coal in the drum, like uh, just a. Yes, yeah. I use coal. Yeah, that's what I'd be using. Um, but a lot of people don't use coal. What do they use? They just use like a gas one. What coal in your oven? No, no, outside. Oh, 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 yeah. But that's them big, that's them serious grills that's connected to the, to the kind of gas and that, and to, to have gas in it. That's that's a big I unit, isn't it? I don't think the average person over here even has one of them. That's them American man. I ain't, I don't I ain't even I ain't even really sighted one of those no, over you here have, properly. You have you know, you go to B and Q. They've got them. You've got to bear them. That, yeah, but I don't see no one. I see them in B and Q. I don't. I mean, I ain't seen no one buy them. Mm. <laughs> I ain't gone to no one's house and they got one. Okay, fair enough. My, <laughs> my younger brother has one, yeah, sadly. Okay. It's the convenience of it. Mm. You understand? Your younger brother? Stephen. Stephen. I didn't just say, no one knows him as your younger brother. That sounds so weird. I was like, who? Okay, Stephen. Yeah, 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 Stephen. I forget. Stephen has one. <laughs> I'm, I'm aware, uh, in fact, majority of the audience would have heard me calling Stephen's name a lot, so yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Brent's younger brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, fair, fair. Enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. All right, cool, cool. Uh, so with the gas, sorry, the gas oven, the gas grill, I just see it like a hot plate. Yeah, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. It's not like a proper... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, if you can do jerk on that, you can do jerk in the oven. What is, how did you get the smoke in there? Remember, you're going to answer that. The, the, the gas grill, sometimes it doesn't have any smoke. It, I'm not talking about the fire licking it. Mm -hmm. mm. Just heat that mother effort up, and then it's, it's like a hot plate. Yeah, that's not authentic either. No, I'm talking about the oven. You said you could get it smoky in the oven. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not talking about... Uh, it's just like a liquid. I can show you. Oh, uh, okay. I have it. <laughs> the liquid of smoke? Liquid smoke. It's called liquid smoke. That's ironic. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually called liquid that smoke. Liquid vapor. That's and ironic. If it's the smoke you're looking for, that you're thinking that it, that makes it authentic, mm, you, get you it. could add that in. A little couple of drops. Pom, pom. It says pom, pom. Mm -hmm. no, the, the process is the process. They had to cover it when they was cooking... They had, to, they had to cover it so the um, mm. smoke when there's mm. on the run and thing in it. Mm -hmm. They had to make their own setup with mm. their jerking. It's the, the history. It's the history. It's the history. Who told us that again? This is um, the young man who uh, is the educator, uh, Daryl. Daryl, yeah. Yep. Big up Daryl, man. Yeah, look at you moving that like, like it was your brain. I was moving <laughs> <laughs> back. Like you made that like, saying. That's really not like I made the saying. I'm moving like I like sourced it. I'm moving like I was giving you that first hand. I said I coined that term. <laughs> and then you started grinning the black. Like, hmm. Wait a minute. Sounds <laughs> a bit familiar. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking. I was thinking, minute. I know this. I heard this story. So <laughs> All right. So your hot cross buns. How do you have them? I don't like them. I've never had one. Because of the reasons. Yes, I don't like. Bits in my mouth. I, actually, except orange juice. That's the only thing mm. I have bits. See, Do they I make to... them date free? They don't, do they? Mm -hmm. I used to think I didn't Is like them. Now? I used to think I didn't like them because the you see like in the packs, the English ones. Right? Mm. I used to think I didn't like them. Yeah. But I like bun and cheese. Mm. So then I actually kind of clocked that they're the same kind of thing, almost, essentially. Mm. So then I was like, all right, cool. I kind of work with these. I don't usually toast them. It's but... not the same thing. It's essentially, it's like a similarly, nope. if you can have hot cross buns with cheese and, and like if you can eat bun and cheese, you can eat hot cross buns with cheese. Well, if you have a malt, you have a malt. <laughs> I feel like essentially, if you like one, you can have, you can stomach the other, basically. Uh, there we go. Huh? You can stomach the other. That's what I was, that's the point I was getting at. Like yeah, at first it's I like seeing normal King's Meal and then Hado bread. Ah, uh, I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's not the same. But what I'm trying to say is, I thought it was like a no go territory for me until I made the connection. So actually, I can try this. You get me? Yeah. It's not that bad, but I don't toast them though. No. How, how do you just cut Cold it? Oh, just put it back when it's back it. Butter and cheese. Cold? So, yeah, I don't even want the hot cheese. I just had them cold, I don't know why. So I have it, even my bun and cheese and stuff like that. Yeah, I just have it cold, butter, cheese in it. You just had hot cheese. So that means that we're bun and cheese. Okay. I've never had bun and cheese with hot cheese before. Oh, okay. So why do you say hot cheese? Huh? Why do you say hot cheese? I said I don't want no hot cheese. I said I ain't had hot cheese. I think I said something. But why? Why? Why bring you hot, keep cheese? Saying hot cheese? Where's hot cheese coming from? Because you're grilling it and toasting it, and then you're doing it with the cheese. Grilling what? The, the, the hot cross bun. Yeah. But then when the cheese gets on it, it's melted a little bit because the toast is hot. Oh, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Ah. I've never had them bun things with hot cheese before. It's always just butter and cold. 
Someone should make a market. I just think it's out of order. Certain things I can't eat because I don't like certain things. I just think it's silly. Someone should really make them date free. Well, it's got dates in them. Yeah, it's got. That's why I can't have it. That's why I just yeah. You sure it's got dates in it? The dates or what is it? Um, it's like currants and things. It's currants. Yeah, that's Do you it. Know what meant? Dates is currants. Same thing. <laughs> oh no, dates are them little um, fruits. If they had dates in it, I don't think. Yeah, I'd yeah, eat currants. It. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not a fan of dates. <clears throat> yeah, I don't like currants. I just don't like bits and cake and stuff like. Oh gosh. So silly. Mm. How about coconut cake? Yeah, but not with pieces of coconut. It's usually like shavings. So it melts as you're baking it. Cocoa bread? I don't know what cocoa bread is. It's not really what it might sound like. No, but the one where people put a patty in. in yeah. between. No, I've never had that, you know. I don't know the silence is... Is that an addict? Imagine woman. It's um, a sweet one, the bread and the coconut. You look good thing. today. Morning, babes. Hi. Good blessed popping. How are you? Can you put the microphone to your beautiful mouth, please? Hi. Thank you. How are you? Hi, thank you. Lovely. Glistening. Skin popping. You look like you've actually gone back to the gym now. Your lovely watch. <laughs> oh, this whole thing. <laughs> 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 it's, 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 no, he's not lying. It's, this whole thing. It's, 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 yeah. Do you know what's so funny? It's like four days behind. Serious. <laughs> so How's you that know. Ha- happen? Because it's not synced. Oh. oh. It's just not, yeah, it hasn't been. Because it means like, when you take it off, it's that's yeah. the malfunction? No, it's just not synced yeah. to a phone. Obviously. Because oh, it got stolen. So obviously, when I. Oh, yeah. I haven't been active in a minute. Yeah. So it wasn't synced to my spare phone. And then when I got a new phone, I haven't got anywhere. So I'm like, mm. Ah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Fair enough. I thought so. it was like this. I associate with gyms. If I put it on my hand, I start crying. No, no, it's not that easy. It's never no. that. No. All right. How crust buns? How do you how do you have it? I don't eat them. Don't like them. It's got raisins in it. Don't like raisins. No. And <laughs> on to what you were saying, I didn't realize that. Call me dumb. Call me whatever you want. I didn't realize that bun and cheese had raisins in it until later on in life. But then I was like, the way that they're in bun and cheese, yeah. With the bun, spice bun, the way it's raisins, right? Isn't it raisins? Oh, it's raisins in that. You have different things in it. It's not just it's not just raisins. Is that the one people eat? No, I don't feel like raisins no. to me. But I feel like it's not raisins, yeah. But it's some sort of similar. No, you, you definitely have like raisins, but you also have like maybe apricot. Might it's m- it's ginger. mushed, so mm. it don't. It's like it's it's like a fusion of some something. So mm. it's not like if I had a hot cross bun, I'd pick out if I if. I wouldn't eat them, mm. but if I had to eat them, I'll starve. They were the only things there. I would pick out the raisins. Mm. Oh, it's even com- coming up to the Those season. People stupid. Because we have them on, uh, is it Good Friday? No, it's not Good Friday. Easter Monday. Mm. The church on Easter Monday, or is it Easter Sunday? Easter Sunday. Sunday. Easter My church has a walk on a Monday. Yeah, Easter Sunday. Um, there's always like fresh ones all buttered up, but I don't like a lot of butter as well. So it just looks like, I'm going to say it's wild, but. You know sometimes when people butter stuff up here yeah, too much and then you bite into it and it just squirts oh, in your oh. mouth. It's just like oil all over your mouth. Because there's a lot of butter. Don't like that? No, I do not like that. Don't like that at all. No, I don't. I brought up Jesus earlier. I definitely don't like <laughs> What did she say? <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'm sanctified. <laughs> yeah, it's just the God falling away in. Amen, child. Amen. <laughs> Starting the week, right? Do you know it? <laughs> All right. All right, Spotify. Let's see what people over there are saying. Let me say hello good morning, to people. Brendan is saying good morning to you guys. So good morning, rude. Davina. Good morning, Mr. Ashlows. Good morning, Crud Crew. Good morning, Amy Snow Globe. Good morning, Everest. Good morning, Christy. Good morning, Antonia Hansen. Good morning, Josie Uggers. Good morning, Sandy. Okay. Yeah, Uggers. Good morning, Sandy You're Malik. So childish. Malik. Good morning, <laughs> Teddy Tibbs. Good morning, Bathroom Diaries. Good morning, The Black Creator. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, T. Good morning, Priz. Good morning, I said Christy already. Lala, good morning, Star Crow. Oh, crap. Oh, good morning, Yas. Good morning, Ryan Royalty. Morning. I I'm done. I was on the wrong dock. Okay, my bad. I'm here. All right. So, from Spotify, Gio, I was supposed to say Glow. Gio says, I arrived here for me after seven. So, I welcomed, I welcome back, I welcome back, seen by Just Jean. From the unofficial supplement to a whole TDA, big up Brent, Gina, and use every time. Oh my gosh, do you remember? Do you, Brent, do you remember the unofficial supplement? Yeah, that's why I tried to introduce a little um, IQ well, thing. 
No, that is crazy. Yeah, yeah. That, is, supplement. that is a throwback. So Brent used to always, when we used to do meet us after seven, he used to uh, like he'd always ask like deep thoughted like. Oh yeah. He had like a deep thought segment. It was. So wait, how have you introduced that here? They used to kiss their teeth. <laughs> you know, we didn't kiss our teeth, yeah, but it was like, sometimes, you know, it required you to use your brain. Oh, yeah. And you know, little brain teaser. And meetings after several was shits and giggles half the yeah, time. Yeah, like, why so make it serious? At like 9 p.m. on a Wednesday night. And it's like, yeah, sir. now I have to come and we do use maths. my brain? <laughs> well, how have you introduced that in here? Sorry. No, no. Um, I don't know if that's what she's saying. No, I thought you said something about it. That's why you tried to introduce something. Here. In meters after seven. Oh, okay. okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. All right. And then Cameron Douglas says, Brent, I thought you... Sorry. Brent, I thought you were smarter than this. Confused by basic vending. Regardless if the price goes up, if you sell it for more, you are in green. Sounds so simple. I have no idea what this is about. It's about the, the griddle. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this person know you personally? It sounds like we're in school with you. No, no, no. See, sounds personal. They're projecting the intelligence onto me. <laughs> Susie, right? <laughs> I'm dumb <Yeah>. as hell. <laughs> no, I'm dumb as hell. You're so dumb. That's funny. I said you. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. All right, let's get into the show, please. All right. All right, here are your headlines for today. The first is about Von Getting to become the world's first black leader. All right. So Mr. Getting, who will become not only the first black person to lead Wales, but the first black leader in Europe, beat his rival, Jeremy Miles, who took 48.3%. He was congratulated by UK Labour leader, Sir Keir Starmer, and Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Born to a Welsh father and a Zambian mother, Mr. Getting pursued, pursued a legal career before being elected to the Welsh Parliament in 2011. Mr. Starmer said Mr. Getting would lead a hopeful, ambitious wealth, sorry, wealth, Welsh Labour government in the face of a tired and failed Tory government in Westminster. In his acceptance speech, Mr. Getting praised his predecessor, predecessor describing Mr. Drakeford as the right leader at the right time in the pandemic. He also praised his rival, Mr. Miles, who would have been Wales' first gay leader if he had been the victor. Turning to his victory, he said, today we turn a page in the book of our nation's history. Okay. And our next um, headline is about the UK, UK politics. A number of factions of the Conservative Party are reported to have held discussions about replacing Rishi Sunak as Prime Minister and uniting around Penny Morden instead. In a desperate bid to boost their dire electoral prospects, MPs on the Tory right have met, sorry, have met with both moderates and members of Miss Morden's team last week. Uh, the Tories are said to have discussed replacing the Prime Minister in a coronation following a no-confidence vote, vote, as opposed to putting their party and country through another leadership contest ahead of the looming general election after Mrs Sunak finally ruled out a May ballot. They are said to, have, they are said to be hoping that a new cabinet resignation will trigger the collapse of Mrs Sunak's premiership and usher in the party's fourth leader since the last election. The outlook among Tory MPs darkened last week after the budget failed to make a dent in polling, which has recently put support for their party at a 40-year low. If they do that, that's wild, you know. That's wild. Mm. That's wild. Four prime ministers. That's wild. All right, and then our last headline in the segment um, is about Donald Trump. Donald Trump has warmed a blood... <laughs> Sorry. Donald Trump has warned of a bloodbath if he loses the, the presidential election in November. The former president ratcheted up the tension as he addressed supporters at a rally in Ohio, Ohio on Saturday. He stated, now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That will be the least of it. It was not clear what he meant by bloodbath with his remark coming in the middle of comments about threats to the US car industry, Mr. Trump has still refused to accept that he lost the 2020 election and has pledged to free supporters jailed for the storming of Capitol during the January 6th riots. His speech was also punctuated with criticism of stupid President Joe Biden and other opponents, including Gavin Newsom, the California governor who he has dubbed New Scum. Despite leading in the polls and securing the Republican nomination, Mr. Trump's rhetoric 
has alarmed many within his own party. Mike Pence, his former vice president, has said he will not endorse Mr. Trump in November. Nikki Haley, his main challenger for the nomination, has also refused to back her former boss. It's scary, you know. Blood bath. Blood Because you lost twice. Who? No, um, Trump, I'm saying if you lose, so if he loses, that he's going to see that as his second loss. And you think that warrants a bloodbath? Just lose and sit down. Why his second loss? Because remember again, he thinks that he was robbed of um, thingy. He doesn't think he f he lost fairly. Mm. I mean, he lost. But for him, he doesn't see that as a, as a, lo as a loss. Mm. So he will see this as the second time you guys are setting me up. Mm. And I shouldn't be losing. Mm. So that's, I guess that's what calls for the bloodbath. Okay. Anyway, um, I got a message from I don't know the person's name. Um, hi Brent. Oh, did you say oh? No, because my foot hurts. I don't care about it. Hi Brent, <laughs> could do me. I'm actually watching the show right now whilst at work. I still watch Meters After Seven till this day. Just yesterday, I was watching it all night and I was laughing my head off. Mm. I really, really miss Yus. I hope he's okay. Hit him up. I love Gina too. We are a few years apart. I am nearly 31. Where's this is going? Just reading out. I'm oh, you really like real that? Time. And she is so honest and relatable. Mm -hmm. If you see this whilst on the show, please send my love to the whole team. Margs, Gina, Esther, Iman too. I guess he's off today. I learn about the news with you and FT. Ha 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 ha. Love, brother. And there was the a red hat and a black hat. You can speak like this for us to show. No, but I was going to say, the way you're reading is really nice. Yeah. Because it's nice. Oh, thank you. I want you all to, to take it in, innit? Do you know what's really funny? Pick up either. Me, did in the morning. Me and you actually spoke yesterday about um, Meet Us. Oh. Funnily enough. Yeah, I know. It's because I think this week he had a few messages and so did I, strangely enough, from different people. Oh, yeah. my gosh, we miss you guys. Oh, that's sweet. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, you're, 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 you're doing a comeback? Doing no, block? we were just like, we miss, we miss, obviously we miss it. It was just, it was just like, just, it was just like oh. a comeback. Well, you're supposed to do a... Yeah, I think we still will, though. Like mm -hmm. a, like a random all-star episode. Yeah. With the lineup. You know what I mean, innit? The yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Hear that? Um, texter. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm, that's funny. Um, all right, let's get into topic of the day. Okay. Seem a bit more dramatic, but it's a healthy glow. Oh. Thank, thank you. It's right, go on. Got to come around the wrong person. <laughs> I don't like do <laughs> Get to work, boy. <laughs> All right. Well, today's topic of the day is they want to know what is potentially more harmful Ooh. movies or reality TV? I think reality TV. I would say reality TV. Yeah. Because I feel like when you watch a film, I know I haven't let you land and there's probably a lot more, but... No, I have pause for us to answer. Yeah, I ain't gone into it. I don't even know oh, what okay, to say. I'm sure I'm, there's more, but... I'm going to say reality TV because I feel like when you watch a film, you watch it knowing that it's a film, so you know that yeah. it's a storyline and it's whatever. Do you know what I mean? Um, do you think everybody does, though? Uh, hopefully those with common sense, yes. However... Common sense ain't as common as people would have to I'm very aware of that, so it's a shame I can't really speak for those who don't possess <laughs> that... that that skill but i think when with reality tv obviously it's reality tv right and yes a lot of it is kind of like manipulated and stuff for people's entertainment but at the same time a lot of it is real life especially now with social media where like before you had rea reality tv re reality tv but you didn't have social media to follow people's accounts do you see what i mean like are you speaking for yourself or what you're generalizing can you Give me a comparison of, say, like, your favourite reality, reality TV, TV show compared to your favourite movie on how you feel like they would have impacted your life, if that makes sense. You know, like, there might be stuff that people can draw inspiration from or something like that. There might You might have a movie that's impacted your life mm -hmm. 
on something. Yeah. Where's the equivalent of reality TV? Like, what reality TV have you watched that's... Impacted my life, hmm. good or bad. Yeah. Oh, I can give you loads. So I watch, with reality TV, all the reality TV I watch is ratchet stuff, right? So it's not positive. <laughs> ah, so you'd be emulating, you'd be watching it then... No, I don't emulate. So I watch it and a lot of it is like, this is what I don't want to be like. Like these, do you know, do you know what I mean? It's like, also positive. Hmm? It's positive to show you what, how not to act. Yeah. Okay. But that's because of how I see it though. So I can watch the show and see women and men behaving badly, especially like when it comes to like relationships and all that toxic behavior and stuff like that. Like, let's say love and hip hop. Mm. So I, I watch it and like a lot of the women are mature. Do you get what I mean? Like, you're not kids. It's not young people. I'd say it's not like Tawi. Tawi, like, the cast is very, very young, right? So when I watch that, I don't watch it from a judgmental place because I know that they're young and it's, it's do you know what I mean? But when I'm watching big-ass people like um, Peter Guns and, like, you lot are grown-grown, do you know what I mean? Like, you've been around for a minute. Mm. And watching their, how they navigate and stuff, it's like, it's a reminder of, like, the person you don't want to be like. For me anyway, or the woman that I don't want to be like, or when I see certain situations that they put themselves in, and it's, do you know what I mean? That's how I see it. But then on the flip side, let me give you a film that's been very positive for me is, um, the name's gone out of my head, King Richard. Serena oh, yeah. Williams, okay, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So that film, when I watched it, literally like, I, I felt so inspired. And it's one of those films that- Brent. Like, what, because it's on you and not me. She's speaking. That's fine. It's one of those films that whenever, when I watch it, I drew so much inspiration from it. And I was like, you know, whenever I am in a space that I don't need to be in, I'm going to watch that film to kind of, do you know what I mean? Because I know what that film did for me, if you get what I mean. Okay, that's cool. And out of the two, you, but you'd think the reality TV impacted you more. What was the question again? What's more? Harmful. And I'm, I wouldn't say it's more... I'm just saying, let's take me out of the equation. Let's look at it from a general, like a general, like, like a general place. I'm going to say reality TV because I also think it's quite similar to social media. And I think social media is quite harmful to like how people process things and how people think and how people's opinions. And do you know what I mean? Like how, just how we live now compared to before without having access to so many people's opinions and how, do you know what I mean? Mm. And like, I know what I'm trying to say, but cool. I just can't get my words out, but yeah. What about you, Est? How do you feel about that? Um, I think I would say, I agree with Gina, because I think people watch movies with a mindset, like subconsciously, you know that it's not real. Like it's it's a script, someone's written this, and that, but even if it's based on a true story, you will still hear people be like, oh no, but they've probably added some, they've, they've made a bit more dramatic kind of thing. So I would say that reality TV, yes, because I think we're getting to an age now where people are seeing and learning that reality TV is actually scripted as well, or like emphasized. But I would say reality TV is more harmful because it feels more real lifey than um, movies. But I also agree with Gina in that it's about what you pick out of reality TV. Because I've learned stuff from reality TV shows I've watched, and not in following how they're acting unless it's like a positive. But yeah, it's about the message you pick out of it. Yeah. What about you, Brent? Do you think reality TV is more harmful than movies? No. Come on, let me get a different side of the aisle, please. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm taking this particular side because obviously everybody else is taking the other one. So, let's just do the poll. Give me the debate team. Huh? This is giving debate team. Give the debate team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I think that um, you have more time to sculpt narratives. Um, and input psychological uh, coaxes in movies. And mm -hmm. you have the, the music, and you have... You can introduce concepts or ideologies that can't come off the fly in a reality TV show. Let's just say it wasn't scripted. Mm. And um, you can corrupt more via movies than reality TV. Do you think? Yeah. But <clears throat> this whole day and age with this reality TV stuff is breeding like I'll a give whole examples. a whole generation. Give examples. Go on then. Them lone shooters and them Columbine mother effers. Who? Mm -hmm. Columbine. You know when it's school shooters. Like school shooters. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you start introducing that kind of stuff, this is how it is that you react to being bullied. This is how 
da, da, da. you put oh, okay, thoughts into people's minds. But, so what movies yeah. do we blame for that? Is there, they're not copying no movies. Are you blaming Terminator? A hell of movies. There's okay, no so movies that told them to go and shoot or even no, de- no, no, or, de- no. or depicted anybody so going doing that, innit? There is. So what there ones? Is. They're horror films. So like, what's what? the horror films? I watched horror. I forgot. There's one in my head. It's annoying me. And it was a guy who got bullied in school, and then for obviously he's grown up now. He's got older, and then for revenge, he's decided to go and kill all the students. Yeah, like, but that probably came after the fact. That film probably is out came out after Columbine and that. Okay. Do you get what I'm trying enough. to say? Okay. Like, them films probably no, came out after the fact. No, I said I get don't, it. Don't keep pushing. Keep pushing. <laughs> <laughs> um, where <clears throat> you have ah, uh, army shows and whatnot. Form, Just the, the excessive jacket. use of guns. Okay. Right, and then it's not just the case where they show us what we see with the army. Because if you ask yourself, without having movies. How do the army operate? You wouldn't know, right? Because they don't film stuff like that. Mm. In movies, they show you all of that kind of crap. Mm. And they glorify guns. I mean, the rap shows glorify killing all the time. Mm. Hella time. So I think it's more harmful than reality TV show. Because you're, you're not getting away with that kind of crap in a reality TV show. You can't just kill people. You can't be holding guns. You can't be doing the whole... Um, Knife crime and stuff. Films would have influenced a minority. It's easy to turn back, and it's not just films. It's entertainment. It's art. It's music. It's rest of the day. But it's easy to turn back and point a lot of the violence to the action hero era of movies and stuff like that. But I don't know whether that's affected more people than this than than the reality TV and that social media and that get famous overnight generation. I don't know whether movies has impacted more people than reality TV and that kind of thing. I feel like anybody that got impacted by the movies and stuff to do that kind of stuff would potentially be a minority. I'm not saying it didn't affect people, but it's like a minority, whereas this feels like a like a sea, a whole wave of change. Even to the fact where, because it's generated like careers and stuff like that and revenue, and people who can go on social media and reality TV show, and like I said, and be famous overnight and just start earning and acting. That's something for people to aspire to, isn't it? Do you know what I'm trying to say? So I feel like that impact is across the board has impacted more youth than say that like, violent films did. All right. So when we say impacted, you're talking about it, it, well, it negatively impact a level of degeneracy. We, is that the question? Like yeah. when you say more harmful, in what sense? Well, I, I suppose it's anybody's idea of harm is it's, uh, it's, it's open ended. Uh, I suppose it has to be open ended okay. because harm it can't just be it can't be just physical thing harm. I don't like answering questions that open ended. Like yeah, but it can't just be all, it can't, all, all, it, all over the gaff. It, it can't just be physical harm. But then you're gonna go to oh yeah, the people are shooting each other because of movies and stuff like that. Like it got like a lot of these behaviors and these stuff that's going on, these actually that's going on are detrimental to our society. The things that's going on with young women and young boys that had to act is harmful. It's still harmful. What I'm what I'm saying is. I can probably easier draw a correlation between um, games that have gun violence in it and like sh- like school shooters. Yeah. Right. Um, I can't do that with reality TV. Yeah, I don't know. Gaming is is completely different. But you have movie scenes in games. Yeah. Do you understand? So I'm, I can draw that particular uh, comparison. But if the question has nothing to do with what I've just said, because I've just said an extreme. If that's not what is he's asking us to talk about, then it's pointless me introducing it into this um, debate. If it's just the case of um, young people not wanting to go down a particular um, route, education this annex in order to uh, get a nine to five, that is in these particular fields, because they think they could just um, wake up one morning and do this particular stupid thing and then do and then make it rich, mm. then cool, we can have that conversation. And we focus the conversation on that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what I said. I don't like these open-ended type of questions where w- there's no one focus. There's no real focus here. You're telling us to discuss our favourite movies and reality shows and to be honest about it and ask yourself which would have more potentially harmful effect on you and your family and your community. Yeah, it's more about it's more about the be- people's behaviours and attitudes mm. and them, like, taking it in. Mm. So are they more willing... Are they more able to probably take it in from susceptible? Susceptible? What's the word? 
susceptible, mm-hmm. susceptible. there from movies or from reality TV shows? What I would say, what has more of an impact or influence on people? This is the, the exaggerated um, and that like, scripted nature of reality TV may distort um, like the viewer's per- perception. You get me of yeah. reality, like compared to mu- compared to movies. So. Compared because, to movies. Compared to movies, yeah, because like what you were saying, isn't it? Like you watch movies knowing that they're movies, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So mm. the reality um the reality TV show could distort your your perception more because right. actually So he's not he's not veering away from scripted. He's saying let it be scripted, but the fact that is you've slapped a, a moniker or a label reality, you assume it's reality. reality yeah. But <laughs> I don't you know, think it depends though. Sorry, do you know? Don't you think it depends though? Because I feel like more women probably watch more reality TV shows. So more women are likely to be influenced by reality TV shows, but then men watch movies more. So if they're watching a movie, say like a gangster film where the guy's all tough and da da, that's gonna influence them to feel like in real life, they should appear that way as well. Mm. Cause it's a good point she just raised just now. How many men actually watch reality TV like that? Yeah, that's true. So it would depend on the people and the gender and stuff. What were you gonna say? Do you know? Um. It's love, love, love Island's reality TV, innit? Yeah. yeah. That's men and women. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Men and it's li- Love Island is literally men and women. And I feel like it's not it's not a thing where it's like I feel You're like so a lot annoying. Of, I feel like a lot of men watch Love Island. Yeah, but then do you think it do you think it influences them? I feel like stuff like that probably influences how people see relationships. Like that influences an aspect. But that's, lives, what, that's, that's what yeah. I mean. I think when you watch reality TV, it depends on what's being portrayed. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? So obviously because we know Love Island is a dating show or whatever, any influence you do kind of draw from it is going to be in that aspect in, re- in relation to like relationships and dating and stuff like that. That's true. Yeah, because now you're getting experience from by proxy. So as it, as it pertains to dating, which is worse, which creates like a skewed... What, movies Vision. or reality Ooh, TV? that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, so I think, yeah. Because Tyler Perry be trying to... No, of him. course. And I was going to say, even <laughs> even from like a young age, being like a girl, when you're watching mm, like chick Disney flicks and, and Disney, yeah. all that stuff, it gives you such a flawed perspective of what relationships, of what you think a relationship is meant to be like or just how easy it is to access or how hard it is do you know what I mean do you know what's interesting about that though because guys watch that as well when they're young yeah so why don't they pick up how Prince Charming is moving why is it only girls that pick up how Cinderella's being treated why don't the guys pick up how Prince Charming is moving is Prince Charming a good guy wonderful guy oh serious <laughs> how, about, how about the beast man yeah, I never beast. watched that. I never Don't watched that. The beast, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. When I watched and you I prayed see, for a birthday. You see that whole <laughs> I thought, yes, this is me, man. I get it. She's <laughs> this guy was crazy. Did he hell. kidnap her though? No, we didn't kidnap. Basically, what happened was, yeah, and can I be honest, I watched it the other day as well. <laughs> That's all right, because I might watch it. But <laughs> this basically, long right. story short, yeah, he didn't kidnap her. She obviously, her dad yeah. decided to go to some fair, yeah. And in the process of going to the fair, he got lost. Okay. Came across my man's castle. Right. Went into the castle. Obviously, he's a trespasser, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So the guy kept him as a prisoner because it's like you're trespassing, passing. You don't have any grounds to be here. Yeah. So he kept him, and then she got word that that ha- that her dad. That's where her dad is at. She even was just like she just found out that her dad was somewhere. So she went looking for him. Mm. When she went looking for him, she ended up finding him, mm. and then um, she said to the guy, "Like, let take me instead of my dad's place." Obviously, her dad's an old man, isn't it? So she's like young. Yeah, she's that's just... exactly why he ain't got that much time to live. He can stay in here. So she's like, take my take my dad instead, isn't it? So he's like, all right, cool. So he swapped them. So he swapped them. Let her dad go. Kept her there. And obviously, ended up falling in love with her. Oh, of course he would. Um, and she ended up falling for him as well. But obviously, the guy, the guy in ends who actually really liked her was just like this prick who's like. He's he's a popular guy that every girl likes. Oh yeah, he's a prince charming. Right, but he wasn't charming though. He was very arrogant, had a horrible ego. I was just an average guy, basically, and had loads of girls flocking at his feet. But he wanted her. But I think it's more because she didn't want him. It's like you know your ego. His ego was bruised. Like how dare you not want me when all these girls want me? It's Gaston. Yeah, Gaston. So wait, so did he go back and get her then? Who Gaston? Gaston basically, from an ego perspective, was like hold on. So he. Got wind mm. that like she obviously that kind Made of like the, the beast. Yeah. See so like, that? Hold on a minute. 
You can like a beast, but don't you me. like him, but you don't like me. Absolutely not. Yeah. So they take. He Racist he takes he takes the dads yeah. captive. Yeah. What, like, we're gonna, store? Yeah, we're gonna put your dad in a side, a, 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 like a mental home. Yeah, because your dad's your dad's a bit cuckoo, innit? But I can get your dad released if you marry me, innit? That's the deal. But then she got the the first deal was that the beast would let her her dad go for her. So how's she making deals with two people? No, so, He's not very bright, so basically he? the beast. Okay, so when the beast ends up falling in love with her, yeah, yeah. he lets her go. Okay, so like, be here if you want to be here. Don't be here. Oh, that's sweet. Like, he's fooling for her, yeah. So he lets her go. Yeah. And then when she goes back, obviously, like, they think her dad's mad talking about a beast because they're like, no beast exists kind of thing. So because he's mad, we're going to put him in a medical home. Interesting. And then she's just like, no, 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 my dad's not lying. He actually exists, but he's really kind and he's gentle and he's not as bad as everyone thinks. So then guess who's like, hold on a minute. Are Are you guessing the beast? beast? And she's just like, he's like, she's like, you're a monster. You are. <laughs> I have too much time on my hands. And then he's just like, I bet. So you think you're going to like this beast instead of me? I'm going to go kill this beast. Yeah. And if you want your dad to be released from that mental home, you marry me. You have to marry me. So it's they, possible, all, bro. they all go mm. to the beast's home to obviously like try and kill him and stuff. But it backfires because he ends up Dying instead by accident. Oh. Well, not by accident, but he well, tries the beast. to kill the. He tries to kill the oh, beast. Oh no! He tries to kill the beast, but in that process, he ends up falling off a cliff. Like he gets. He the kills. beast f- falls off a cliff. No, that's all. Yeah, oh, well, ends up whatever. Dead. And then the beast um, becomes human again. Basically, I was okay. So that was yeah. I was going to ask. Like, like, does so he turn? Yeah, because basically he used to be a prick. Yeah? Okay, he was a horrible man. Okay, right. And then one day, like one which. Mm, basically cursed him. cursed him because he yeah. was a horrible man and she said the only way you're gonna come back to like your normal form is if you yeah. found true love oh, what a story yeah so yeah. obviously when he met when he met my girl both of them both of those men were a matters do you understand yeah they were bad people but one of them learned their lesson yeah because because he learned his lesson and became human again he didn't learn his lesson no he did he, he did he, he fell didn't. in love there we go because when it is he was like Cuckoo in his little castle, he was miserable as hell. No, yeah, but, well, yeah, but you can understand and why he was he killing was, people. You can understand who did he kill? Each time it, I watched the proper version. You watched the <laughs> Disney version. No, I've watched the film as well. Are you serious? Yes, I have. What do you uh, mean? 2024? There's a new one. Not this year. <laughs> You're slipping. I'm gonna watch so it. Basically, you're, a host, <laughs> host, 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 you're a liar because there's <laughs> no Disney. Disney no, 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 no. It's all right. It's no, TV. speak, speak with your chest. It's there's no 2024. No, no, there's not. There why are you lying? It's actually it's Korean. Oh, look at Korean, boy. If you don't, it's Korean. Is that their story? No, that's why I said boy. If you don't, no, it's the better version. Okay, <laughs> proper. Oh, anime. that's sweet though. But anyway, I'm gonna each watch time Izzy went to the castle and they weren't invited, he would kill them. Can I ask you? So a wait, so she's Princess Belle, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, lovely, beautiful name. Mm. She's white. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, but she was nice. And I know the, what you want. I don't know what white she was, she nice, In the cartoon, she was peng. <laughs> she was gorgeous. She, she was. was princess. very pretty. Yeah. And she was a bookworm and just not your average girl, man. Oh, that's so, so sweet. I loved her. So Wife what, material. What mm. examples um, of... Um, Why did we start talking about that? Yeah. We were talking about um, saying, whether love yeah, yeah. was how, more harmful. No, you asked the question. Uh, I was saying, why don't men watch yeah. Disney but oh. they don't get... They don't pick up the ideas that we that women pick up in terms of how to love a woman. They come out looking like. Are there any good male roles in in Disney? From but I was gonna say yeah, like when you think about it, focus on the women. That's and I was gonna What's say that's the one I went back to Mermaid. That guy is a really good good guy. With a crab. No, yeah, no, yeah, not yeah, Sebastian. Yeah. Sebastian. The human no, guy. The he human actually. Guy. He, <laughs> you know yeah. he wanted to save the. He went. He loved the mermaid. Saw her when the when the ship or whatnot. Mm-hmm. And he was a great guy. Bestiality. Went out of his way to try and find. No, she was human. He went out of his way to find her because she saved him. Yeah, exactly. She saved him. So that was a great guy. He, he, yeah, but again, that ho- that whole thing is centered around. He liked her when she was a mermaid. Bestiality. Yeah, yeah, but she saved his life. But he didn't realize she was he a didn't mermaid. Know she was he didn't realize because he only Remember, saw the top he half. He didn't realize she was swimming. He didn't, no, he, realize, didn't know. he didn't realize that she was a mermaid. They're not meant to apply that much sense to it. Come as a car. He saw the first the half. Version. He what, saw the up- Halley version. The Korean one. Can I be honest? I'm not talking to you anymore because you're just you're ruining my childhood. Your Korean versions are giving Nollywood. Stop it. <laughs> yes, I thought, yeah, it's interesting. But I mean, yeah, to be fair though, typically in the Disney films and stuff, the guys have like, they got like big egos and women are like pining for their love and whatnot. And, no, and, but then they and, couldn't fight No, though. but then you know what it is? I think, what the, I think also, yeah, when you watch Disney, a lot of them are centered around the women. So I mm. can't imagine 
the guys men, like you it. don't really get men don't have that much limelight. It's not about them their like story. That, yeah. Their stories aren't big enough for you to even take anything from it. Look at Cinderella. Yeah, I stopped mm. watching. I but stopped then Shrek, watching. like from Cinderella, Sleeping and Shrek was horrible. Yeah, well, then he fell in love. Nasty, then he realized. Nasty, 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 but then he realized it shouldn't be me. What are you talking about? What? What are you talking about there? Hmm? What were you what saying? Say? I said I stopped watching Sleeping Beauty where they tried to convince men that it's okay to kiss. Kiss girls. Bro, the where's the consent? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't wake me up. How do you not want to wake up? But I do. Yeah, waking people up with a kiss is wild, you know. That's a mad story. Mad lesson to be teaching kids. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. So what was your favorite now. Disney um movie? My favorite one? Yeah. Milan. I was a Cinderella. You're younger than the people in this room, isn't it? I was a Cinderella. I just always loved Cinderella's story. Yeah. Yeah, in terms of Disney films and like Cinderella's my favorite one, but then my favorite one to read was Hansel and Gre- was it Gretel? How did Gretel? you yeah. read Hansel and Gretel? I'm done. Oh I love that. Oh, I love all the little crumbs and whatnot. I still think yeah. about crumbs. It's like an adventure, isn't it? It was so lit. And then obviously had yeah, the in which yeah, and then the sweet ha- the houses with sweets and stuff. Mm. Every kid's dream, man. Chin chin. Oh, beautiful, mm-hmm. wonderful. Your favorite was Mulan. Mm. What was your favorite? Well, Pinocchio. Disney. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, like, I, like, I, like, I like, I like, I like, I like all of them. All of them. Mm. You watch all of them? Is there one you didn't watch? You sure you watch all of them? Uh, most of them. Tell me some. I don't know if I've seen them. All right, let me let me find the Disney list. You see them make up the Korean list up in here. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you've watched a lot, but I'm not sure if you've watched it all. I've seen a few. I love Disney films, man. Simpler times. My life was so life was so lit back then. Right. Mm. Mm mm mm. Because all you had to do was cry in the tower, innit? Make man come save you. No, I'm talking about just watching it. Oh, so. You egg. <laughs> to cry in the tower, you know. I like Rapunzel as well. She was a vibe. Who's the one that was sleeping on the, all, this, all the things? Is that is that Sleeping Beauty? No. Oh, yeah, Tangled. Was... Have you watched Tangled? Yeah, I watched Tangled, yeah. What? Yeah, Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, she was one with the... Um... Where she could feel the pin underneath all the mattresses or something. Yeah, that was Sleeping Beauty. I never watched that story. I don't know who her story is. What, what's... Isn't that the Princess of the mm. Pea? Yeah. And a pea. There you go. Yeah. And a pea. Yeah. As in like a vegetable. She could feed it underneath all the mattresses. Mm. Who saves her? I don't know. Some guy. Yeah, I'd never watched her story. Oh, so that's not Sleeping Beauty. That's the next thing. I, th- I think so. Okay. I don't know. Seven and Seven Dwarfs, so they were a vibe as well. You little know people. what? You can't say that no more. They were all vibes. Seven and Seven Dwarfs. It's, it's, it's not my thingy. I love. I did love. Dog. I love. What am I talking about? No, there. no, no. My favorite. Sorry, I was thinking something doesn't sound right. It's Little Mermaid. No, Little Mermaid is my favorite. Favorite. I was thinking Cinderella. Is it Little Mermaid? I love Little Mermaid so much. That's my favorite. Robin Hood might be my favorite one. I never watched that. It's old. Didn't like his pants. It's the fox. It's the cartoons. It's not yeah. really thing, the animals. Oh, that's Peter Pan. I'm thinking about. Yeah, Peter Pan. Yeah, I think it was Peter Pan. Robin, right. Robin Hood was lit. You watched Lilo and Stitch? I yep. did. Lilo and Stitch is one of my that. favorite ones. Yeah, Lilo, the whole spin off and everything. Lilo, was and Sti- lit. Lilo and Stitch is funny. Lilo and Stitch was lit. I remember when I came Stitch out. Stitch is know. crazy. A Bugs Life and Jungle Book. Yeah. 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 Do you know what I really liked, though, that a lot of people didn't probably watch? Basil the Mouse Detective. I did not watch that. Not much, I've never heard of it. Nah. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, that's what I'm watching that. Why did you find that scary? No, because I just think Christmas is a, it's a story of light. Why, why is it nightmare? It's so, it's that, mean, that, no. that cartoon is so God dramatic. <laughs> no. Yeah, I feel like Who I've seen Roger it. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. No, I never well. watched that. Who Framed Roger Rabbit is a big, big film. I do yeah, know who Roger Rabbit is, though, but It's mixed with it. humans. It's not just yeah. cartoons. Jessica Rabbit. I never watched that. And what's that small guy called? Sorry. Is it Danny DeVito? Is that his name? Yeah. Danny yeah, yeah. yeah. It is Danny DeVito. It's not Danny DeVito. The one with the glasses. That little man with the glasses, the round head. Yeah, oh, yeah that's Danny. Danny is then. That's the one and only. And he was the one that was with Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, is it? Right, yeah. yeah, that's funny. Is him? The Rescuers. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, Pinocchio was one as well. Rescuers Down Under. The Aristocrats. Yes. Oh, oh Aristo- I watched that. Aristocrats is top ten. Yeah, I watched that. I remember that. Was, that was lit. Aristocrats is cold. Lady and the Tramp. Yep. Alice yeah. in Wonderland. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Right. Really took to her. Wait, what mm. are we doing here? Things we've watched. Yeah. Oh, I've seen okay. all of them. Yeah, said one yeah. of them. Yeah. yeah. You know, I haven't watched B. that, you know. I have. 
I've seen Bambi. I, I, didn't, think it was, I, I didn't think it was that. I didn't think it was that great though. Oh, is it? This one says that Papa sad and whatnot. It's, it's going back ride. to like Dumbo and all that. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I, I love. I love Dumbo. I never knew Dumbo's story. I only just went on the ride in Chessington. Really? Yeah. I just don't know who the guy. I just know he's got big ears. Yeah. It was just. An I'm like, don't all really, elephants. No. His his ears were extremely big. I think I read. This, I think I have got a storybook. I had to fly with his ears. That's how big. Yeah. I never watched him, but I think I read his story. James and the Giant Peach. Yep. I don't know who James is. Oh, see, it's not Dan DeVito. I knew it wasn't Dan DeVito. Bob Hoskins. Oh, <laughs> the great mouse detective. Basil, see? Yeah. It's lit. Fantasia. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he scared the shit out of me as a kid. Oh, that was a big movie. I remember that. It was that. so scary. Why are you doing like that? Dalmatians. Oh, Dalmatians. I like that. 101 Dalmatians Ooh. is decent. That's proper. Yeah. A coat was hard. That's a good coat. It's a good fur coat. <laughs> That Corona film is good. The Corona film's good actually. Yeah. With Margot yeah. Robbie. Were the coats made out of dogs? Yeah. Everything was made out of dogs. That's what she no had Dalmatians. She was serious. Yeah. Then you had Monsters Inc. Oh, Monsters Inc. Yeah. I watched that, but it scared me, man. Mm. I still find it scary. Boo. Oof. I still can't watch. I still can't watch that even as an adult. Lion King. Love that. Aladdin. George of the Jungle. Because I'm popular opinion, but... Lion King 2 is better than number one. Sorry. Right, there's a liking too. Simba's Pride, yeah. There ain't not much in that shit. The Land Before Time. Oh, with Petri in that. Mm. No, I don't know what that is. With the dinosaurs. Yeah. When they're looking for the other land. Yeah. That's old. Ice Age, just for me. That's where that's when dinosaurs I encountered in my childhood. <laughs> old Love Ice heaven. Age. Mm? Cocktails. Cocktails? Ducktails. Duck Scrooge with the duck and yeah. Ducktails was decent. Is that where the like, ducklings from? It's with like Louis Huey and Stewie in the Monday, isn't it? Yeah. Ducktails is a decent cartoon still. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? How old were you when you were watching all this stuff? Uh-huh. Were you still don't, like, you, had you started going on the street yet? I would have watched the Disney. I would have watched that stuff throughout my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> What? The juxtaposition of you being on the road and you watching this stuff. After a hard day. <laughs> <laughs> the hard day's work. <laughs> How? Do people go to work cool and watch down. that stuff. People, people do all kinds of stuff in their life and watch that stuff. Time, yeah. No, that's yeah. funny. It's like wind down. It's like, yeah. yeah. It's a monster's in con. What do you mean? Everybody watches everything, like. Yeah. It's not for, it's not for certain type of people. That's like was well, there like a profession that I could do that would be like you think so sol- allowed like soldiers from, from the Iraq war and thing one time might watch some Disney like what are you talking about that? Like, it's That's so funny. This is the stuff of the world, isn't it? It's, everything's for everybody. Oh my goodness. Like man on that's on the road and they get home, go home to watch his tenders and them thing there. Some people do. Yeah, it. but with these things, sometimes it keeps them innocent, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, so obviously you need to watch a lot so that it can keep you balanced. Life's about balance. Yeah, you keep Period. saying that. Yeah, I would have watched all them. I would have watched all them Disney movies. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen all of them. Yeah. Maybe some of the new ones, now when they all um Pixar and all that, all the kind of joints. I ain't seen some of oh, those. Oh yeah. Oh, I liked iRobot. I think that had Will Smith in it. iRobot. What's what are we talking was about? Was iRobot? Well, that definitely had Will Smith in it. But that's well, not was a cartoon. Film. That's not a cartoon. No, no. Okay, so I'm talking about oh robots. I think robots is the film. No cartoon. You mean? It's a cartoon. Sorry. Yeah. I ain't seen that. That was really good. That must be something new school, right? No, I was young. I mean, I still watch cartoons and Disney now, to be fair. Calm down. (laughs) It's so dramatic. (laughs) All right. I think we've... um, Where's that from again? Shrek. That's it. That was a good time. Yeah, we have. All right. Next headlines. All right. Let's get into our headlines. Our result for... Everyone thinks that yep it is reality tv look at the foolishness 73 percent say reality tv and 26 percent say movies wonderful here we go results are in people all right so cabinet minister mark harper denies tories have a problem with race (laughs) Mm. a senior cabinet minister has denied the conservative party has a problem with race after accepting at least 10 million pounds from a donor who was who is accused of racism Transport Secretary Mark Harper told the BBC BBC he was in the most ethnically diverse cabinet there has ever been. Mr Harper said his party welcomes members, whatever their race. 
Donor Frank Hester apologised after reportedly saying ex-Labour MP Diane Abbott made him want to hate all black women and that she should be shot. The party has refused repeated calls to return Mr Hester's money, despite labelling his alleged comments as racist and wrong. When asked by Laura Kresenberg if the Tory party has a problem with race, Mr Harper said, absolutely not. Mr Harper argued that we should accept Mr Hester's apology. And there's always something about people that have not been offended by what's been said, mm. telling people that have been offended to accept the apology. Always funny. All right, next headline. Thousands of people turned up at polling stations in Russia and capitals. So I thought I was reading the wrong date. Yeah, thousands of people turned up at polling stations in Russia and capitals across the world on Sunday to take part in what in what the anti-Kremlin opposition said was a peaceful but symbolic protest against the re-election of President Vladimir Putin. In an action called Noon Against Putin, Russians who opposed the veteran Kremlin leader went to their local polling station at midday to either spoil their ballot paper or to vote for one of the three candidates who stood against Putin. Others had vowed to write the name of late opposition leader Alex Alexei Naval Navalny, who died last month in an Arctic prison on their voting slip, and some visited Navalny's <laughs> grave in Moscow to symbolically cast their vote for him. Navalny has endorsed the Noon Against Putin plan in a message on social media, facilitated by his lawyers before he died. Despite the protesters, who represent a small fraction of Russia's 114 million voters, Putin has secured a new six-year term of office in the presidential election. Sorry. And our last headline in this segment is about Benjamin Netanyahu, who has vowed to press ahead with sending Israeli troops into Gaza's southernmost city of Rafa, rejecting deep international concerns over the risks to more than a million Palestinians who have sought shelter there. Netanyahu said no amount of international pressure would stop Israel from realising all of its war aims. Israeli military officials say Rafah is Hamas's last stronghold in Gaza, with thousands of militants as well as senior leaders based there. They are leaving Rafah untouched. Would They say leaving Rafah untouched would allow Hamas to retain control of parts of Gaza, exploit tunnels to Egypt, and quickly rebuild its forces in the future. However, Rafah is now home to more than 1 million people displaced from elsewhere in Gaza and also a major logistics hub for the distribution of aid through Gaza where famine looms. Joe Biden has said a Rafah invasion would be a red line without credible measures to protect civilians. Netanyahu further told CNN on Sunday that a speech by Chuck Schumer in which the US Senate majority leader called for the new elections in Israel was totally inappropriate. And that is it for our headlines in this segment. Let's pay some bills. Let's get into, um, what's it called? Word and Road. Word. Okay, okay. So, um, I like finding out that certain celebrities are related. I just be like, oh wow, that was so cool. Who did I find out the other day? Um, was it Terry Crews and somebody? I can't remember. But anyways, Glorilla and Cardi B are cousins. Well, proper cousins. Proper cousins. Her, da her granddaddy was stepping out. You know, went and had another woman. And then from that woman came Glorilla's dad. They're cousins. I thought, how cool. That's the story. Oh, so Gorilla's dad is an uncle? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Gorilla's dad is um, Cardi's uncle. So, whoever Cardi's parent is from the granddad is Gorilla's dad's sibling. Okay. But apparently, they didn't know until recently. Someone else, I've, oh, it's going to bug me. Anyway, but yeah. So, that's happening. But she's got, a, she released a new single. I think she's, she's learning up for a new album. She talked about, you know, the album coming out and stuff. I'm really looking forward to it. I just love Cardi, man. It could never make me hate her. But she's got a new single. So, the first single, I think, was two weeks ago. It's called Like That, I believe. I think it's called Like That. And it's um, it was a freestyle. And then this one is like a single single, if that makes sense. Okay. Like a music single. But she was talking about the freestyle. She didn't know what to release because she's been away for a while now, for a minute now. But um, she, did, she said she was talking about not knowing what to release. She did the freestyle and then Offset told her to like just record a video in the... I haven't watched the video yet, actually, <gasps> but it was like a record the video, like, like a spur of the moment kind of thing. So um, she did. So yeah, she's releasing. I feel like she's making a comeback. Cause I've seen she's she's appearing in different places. She's doing her doing the runs. Mm. 
getting people talking about her again and being back in the face of all of it and all that kind of stuff. I know she's kind of dealing with a, well, in the interview, she's talking about, one of the interviews anyway, she was talking about, in terms of, she said when she, before she was a celebrity, she always criticized celebrities for not being like real and being honest with their fans and stuff. And she said that when she becomes a celebrity, she wouldn't be like that. She'd be very real and very authentic. But she said now that she's been doing, she's always been like that. She said, no, she sees why celebrities were lying because she said, if you're, if you tell the truth, people cuss you. If you lie, people will cuss you. She's like, either way, you're, you're damned. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. As a celebrity, so she's just, she don't care anymore. She literally was issuing FUs to everybody and the daddy. Um, and then Jack Fowler, he was on Love Island, um, the all-star game. And he, and this lovely black girl, Justine, were on the show. Well, they're broken up. So there's just that. But he posted saying, big love to everyone who supported me and Justine in Love Island Games. She's a gorgeous girl as well, very gorgeous. Uh, winning together was actually mental. Feels like ages ago now, LOL. But just wanted to say we are keeping it as friends. It's all love and vibes between us. I think Love Island, love is blind. All the things that have love in the, in the title, just get rid of it. Just be done. Like get rid of it. Be done. Just, because you know what it is? It's just, it just ruins the authentic, authenticity of it. Because all these couples break up after a while and obviously people are then criticised. Well, there's been comments, basically. People saying that he kind of knew how to play the game mm -hmm. and he knew that going with a black girl who's gorgeous and da-da-da-da would, like, help him. And then now that you've got one help and whatnot, how? now you're like, we're done. Huh? We'll help him infiltrate like the, the 3%. No, no, this wasn't... Love, I think it wasn't... Was it here? It was here. Oh, well. I don't know. I, I honestly can't keep up anymore with Love Island, but... Because I know even with Love is Blind, they had the reunion the other day and sometimes they get like the old cast to do like press runs about him, blah, blah. And Cameron and Lauren, the ones from the first season, they're actually together. I remember the black guy, the black girl and, black, and the white guy. He basically was, he basically was telling his Instagram, people were like, oh, where were you in this? Da, da, da. And he was like, do you know what? He said they didn't even watch this season because he was like, he just feels as though like the authenticity of it has been watered down. He was like, you get a lot of people that come on and kind of play the game because they know that they're trying to be famous off it. And then you've got people that are genuinely looking for love on there. And then unfortunately they meet up with people who just want clout from the show. And it just isn't as great as it used to be. Um, which was like, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, these shows, I feel like the certain shows, the first couple of seasons are always where it's at. And then after a while, you just get people who just use that as a stepping stone for the for whatever career they think they're, they're getting. Um, but we're talking about Ekin Sue earlier, weren't we? It's not on the when I'm rotating, but she made an interesting comment that I saw online saying how like I feel like she doesn't like people just knowing her as a Love Island Love Islander so what should we know her as? as anything else that she does I feel like, she, I feel like well, she's trying to rebrand I heard that's the only thing she spoke about on the show yeah because yeah well yeah yeah but I what saw, else does I saw she the, do? the montage that they showed her when she left and she just said everything was just Love, love Island, Island Love Island because yeah. you know that I feel like she wants to like rebrand she, she doesn't look happy to me she's like she's like going through things and like sad like, very sad. But um, I guess she wants to do other things and be known for other things. But it was so funny because when she got out, they were, she was like, oh, like, you know, just because I won Love Island didn't mean I was going to win this. So, you know, because they were like, how do you feel being coming out? She's like, oh, you know, it is what it is. Just because I won Love Island doesn't mean I'm going to win this. I forgot she won Love Island. That girl. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. I think it's tricky. I think if you go on a show like Love Island, because she knew what she, she was very calculated when she went on Love Island anyway, and the way she was moving, crawling on the ceilings and whatnot. It just is what it is, man. Anyways, speaking of reality TV shows, though, um, Nene Leaks. So, Portia, as you guys know, Portia Williams, who is used to come back to Real Housewives of Atlanta, but also is divorcing her man, who has been seen with multiple women. Multiple. He was with a Get Body by J girl. Gina, I, do you I, see? I, I did, and I can't bother to talk about it's her. A, yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. But he was with another woman over the weekend, double dating with Nene and her man. But anyways, basically, right, Nini and Portia have always had this big sis, little sis. As in, Nini's a big sis, Portia's the little sis, whatever, whatever. They've been cool and whatever else, but Nini was on Instagram the other day. And essentially, so she's going to be in the Netflix show, The Upshaws. And they called her, called her agent. They were like, we want her on the show, da 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 blah, 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 blah. They told her that there's also going to be another real housewife on there. She's like, oh, who is it? They're like, oh, it's Portia. She's like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. I haven't seen Portia in a while. I haven't spoken to her in a minute as well. So... Cool. She goes there now. She and Portia went to film together, that do their scene together or whatnot, but it's just her the whole day, whatever, whatever. Then she got a call from the producers later on saying, is there any real housewives that you have an issue with, you have an issue working with, like, you've got bad blood with? And she's like, no, like, I'm cool with everybody. And I've left the show. I haven't done real housewives in four years. 
I'm cool, cool, cool. I was like, oh, like, why? What's up? And they were like, basically, they're going to replace Portia. So she's like, oh, like, why is everything okay? They're like, oh, basically, Portia said that she can't, um, that you guys have, essentially, you guys don't have a good working relationship and she can't work with you. And Nini's thinking, I just saw Portia the other day, the other day. I was in Dubai with her and her man, with my man. Um, I was at her wedding. I was with this. And she's like, no, we don't have any issues. Blah, blah. So she kind of felt a bit weird about that. Well, sad about it. Then she messaged Portia to ask to say, this is what I've heard, what's, what's tea? Portia said to her, allegedly, this is what Nini said. Portia said to her that, basically, I'm dealing with my marriage ending and you haven't messaged me. And she's like, she's like yeah, you, um, big sis should have showed up for me. But Anini was like, first of all, I was with you a week before the news came out that you are divorcing your man. And we were in Dubai together. And you were loving up you and your man, doing my man, my man, my man, whatever. And then this has happened. So she was like, I just thought you had an argument. And you guys are going to make up at some point. And then she was also saying that um, she also didn't want to pry and like get in her business about it kind of thing. <sighs> anyway, Portia's upset with her. Portia's out here living her best life, showing her ringless finger. All over, the, all over the damn town. Um, and Nini was upset about that. And yeah. Yeah, but I think when Nini was talking about that, she was talking about like a network. Like, why would you go and tell a network that? Because she was like, basically, you know how harmful it is to essentially brand a black woman as someone that's difficult to work with or someone you find difficult to work with or whatever. It does something for your stereotype. But she basically just ended saying, Pusha's not a star. That she's only got real housewives to her name. And she said, a real star... Can a professional, a real star can work with anybody even if you don't get along. And that, you know what? I think that's a word. Because to be fair, Nini's, I mean, Nini, obviously Nini's success and Portia's success is very different. We know Portia from Real Housewives. Nini's been on Glee, been on Broadway. She's done a lot. But that's what's happening. I still think Nini needs to come back to Real Housewives. Then they might get my attention again. I mean, I watch when Portia goes, but I see she's going to talk about the divorce. But I feel like they're going to drag it out to like the last episode and then be like, oh my gosh. Anyway, speaking of oh my gosh, is Whiskid over the weekend told people he's not an Afrobeats artist. And you that will stop referring to him as such. He went on his Instagram story and he said, Album done, see you soon, bitches. He was swearing a lot. I've never known Whiskid to swear like this. And quite honestly, it makes me uncomfortable. He says, Lion richer than you niggas, lol. Like, I don't understand where this is coming from. He said, that, and he said, and please, I beg, if you like Pakuruma Whiskid, that was off his first album, Superstar, when he was whining his waist on the stage. He would never leave that down. Not anyway. He says, Don't download this new album. In fact, delete me from your playlist and your life. Like, who hurt you? <laughs> he goes on to say, If you like Afrobeats, please don't download my album. And if you like Afrobeats, please. Sorry, I just heard that. <laughs> I am not a fucking Afrobeats artist. Don't call me that hoe. This is all on a Saturday afternoon. Very calm Saturday afternoon. He says, I am not Afro anything, bitch. Hey, listen. He's not even, don't, don't even see. Then he goes on to say, remember, he's not Afro beats anything. He's not Afro anything. He then goes on to say that his album name is Morayo. He said, the best he ever made. Morayo means, yeah, Morayo is Yoruba. It's a Yoruba word. Also can be a Yoruba name. And it means that I found joy. But he's not Afro beats artist. Then it says, now everybody fuck off. Yeah, this is, this is where Whiskey was at on Saturday. <laughs> then he says, uh, one more. All you Niger blogs or media, don't post my shit when it drops. Then it says, your your father. It's like a... Is it people like your mum? Yeah. Then it says, up to the time... Anyway, I'm tired. Then he's... Anyway, whatever. Then the other day, he then came back and he explained why he is not an Afrobeats artist. So listen to this. He said, you lost people. Gosh. I don't know what, who upset Whiskid. He says, you lost people always want someone to educate you. You got your phone, Google, re Google research shit or take a flight and see the world. Don't be ignorant and stupid all the time. Listen, am I African? Yes. But I do make all sorts of music. Fine music. But I don't want these labelled just Afrobeats. That's like saying every American artist makes rap. That's stupid. This is why no matter how good or amazing the music we make it, we make, be it R&B or whatever other genre, we all get nominated in one Africa category or the other. So now I get it. Now I get it. Um, he says, I've made songs from different genres of music, 
Made in Lagos is not an Afrobeat album. That's a fusion of different sounds. Real music. The word Afrobeat was made up by y'all to put all we make into one box. Fella, which is Fella Kuti, um, created Afrobeat. Not with, without the S, Afrobeat. I make all sorts of music, fusion of sounds. I am an artiste before anything else. True to my arts. Not scared to try shit. Now y'all drink some milk. Mm. Why is milk in it? What's, what's milk got to do with anything? Babies. Ah. Where's Smith over there? Anyways, quite long story short, Whiskey's not an Afrobeat artist, all right? He's an artist. Um, I get the whole point of the whole, you know, putting people in one category and, and whatnot, but I wonder, did Made in Lagos get a Grammy? I can't remember. Hmm. I think it did. I think it did. I know Thames, he would have won an award for it. But anyway, it's just interesting that he's now, like, he's just like, you know, did it. I mean, but obviously Bernard always says this stuff anyway about people, people putting all Afrobeat artists in one in one category for the Grammys and then they end up, their, their awards are the ones given very early in the morning when no one's watching. That's why they get, I think it's just because, I. the thing is, I, I get it, but I think... Yeah. What I don't like is when you kind of like try to dissociate. It's like, you know, when you blow it and you try to forget yeah. you're from the ends. Yeah. And you disregard your roots and where you came from because yeah. now you think you're better than everybody. So That's what you, I don't like. Someone literally said that he made up with Joe Legba. And now he's saying that I'm not from there. This is what I'm saying. It's like, you can't, you can't, I get that you're frustrated because you all get lumbered into one yeah. category and that's not fair. So I understand that. Yeah. But to disown, like, your the origins, genre, yeah, yeah, and even say like delete me from your playlist. That's so extra. It's like, ugh. yeah, I feel like also are you in your people, period? It's giving. What is that? Because I also feel like telling people to go and travel the world is a bit um, insensitive, considering what's happening in Nigeria at the moment. Like a lot of your fans are Nigerian based and stuff, so telling them to go and see the world when they can, when they're not even seeing the salaries, is a bit wild. But that's just me, Bren? Uh It was nominated. Oh, okay, didn't win it. Yeah. Well, speaking of Windsor, Damson Idris, the NAACP Awards, it was over the weekend and he won his features. He's been trending, essentially. And um, he won Outstanding Actor in a Drama Series and it was for Snowfall. And a lot of people in the comments were saying that, you know, it was well deserved. And his, um, his mum was there as well, which is so sweet. But Damson always does something that makes me cringe. Like, but actually, it's not just Damson. I don't, I don't like when it, when people are talking about Conversation they have with their parents, or something their parents have said to them, and they put on an African accent. I just don't like. That made it. me think of you when you done that, still. Yeah, I just I really don't like. It. I just feel like it's like it's using it as a form of entertainment for people to laugh at, and I just don't think that African accents are everybody's got an accent, and I just don't think you make fun of like I, it's just, I'm just not here for it, man. I'm just not here for it. It's very distasteful. So, congratulations to him and all. But when he was doing the speech. Because he basically told about my mum is here as well. Shouted out his mum. And it's so sweet. She stood up. I said, yes, auntie, we're staying up. She stood up and whatnot. And then he was like, yeah, you know, my mum told me when she's come to LA, like, damn sin, if you don't win, uh, don't fly me to LA if you're not going to win. And I just thought... You didn't say it like that. You said with African accent, I'm not doing it. <laughs> what kind of hypocrite would I be? <laughs> I tried to do it. And then my spirit just said, hey, it's not useless. But he basically said with African accent that she said that. Um, but one thing I did like that he said... Was he said, hopefully Denzel knows who I am now. Mm -hmm. Remember, Denzel did not that, have a clue who that, that was. That was so painful to watch, boy. <laughs> well, when Denzel said it or when Damson said it? Like, when you watched the clip of Denzel. Oh, yeah. He's like, Damson. He said, Damson? Damson? And he's like... Wait, do you know what's funny? Because he tried to pass it off as if like it was like the interviewer's nephew or something. Mm. But then the nephew, the, the interviewer kept like, like asking for like, how do you feel? And he's just like, it's okay, you want to do this? Jamson, like, who are you talking about? But he said, hopefully, he knows who he is now. I'm sure he does. Um, but yeah, so congratulations to him and anyone else who won over the weekend. Um, I know Taraji won as well for Color Purple, for Supporting Actress. I think Daniel Brooks as well also won one, I believe. So big up them. Um, a few weeks ago, I talked about Marcel from Love Island and he's a lead cheating wife. He was allegedly cheating with um, 
Why is it alleged? Isn't it? It's facts. It's, we know that she cheated. She admitted it. Oh, did she, did, oh, yeah, she did. She yeah, did. She did. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. alleged, girl. Yeah, but I don't, know, I don't want to get used to not saying alleged. Thank you. When I need to say alleged, Thank I don't say much. alleged because. Thank you very much. Love it. Yeah. All adopted. Now go and sue me, chow. Mm-mm. How can you sue me for saying something that's fact? That's what you think. Wendy Williams was always screaming alleged. There was a, you know, there was a person that was assigned, yeah, that always held <laughs> an alleged card because sometimes she would just be saying stuff and mm. then the person would be like, she like, oh gosh, alleged, 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 alleged. But you have to say these things, unfortunately, even if it's confirmed truth. I might want to make a scapegoat out of you. But anyways, he apparently might be releasing some kind of diss track of sorts. I think I speak for all the roads when I say that no one's here, that shit. Turn it off. Do they have kids? I'm sure they've got kids. You can't be making a diss track about the, your mo- your kid's ch- mother. Save it. I heard a preview of it. It's um, got Rihanna's loyalty song in the background. I don't know if he cleared that, but um, Rihanna, I hope she doesn't accept that. I hope she doesn't clear it. But, um, and he's talking about, oh, I've got receipts. Shut up. Shut up. No one cares about the receipts you have on your wife. Stop it. Anyway, apparently he's got receipts. He might be releasing a diss track. Whatever else it is. Maybe you will listen to it. Maybe you won't. Someone can put in Discord if you care enough. You guys will do a review there because, yeah. Sorry, no one wants to hear that crap. No one wants to hear it. Just just stop it. Let's go to the gym and exercise like the rest of us do. All right, anyway, that's it. What is the people's general is there? Headlines. Sorry? Headlines. Okay, let's get into another headlines. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. <laughs> on this um, killings. So, yeah, trigger warning on murder. Um, 16 Nigerian army soldiers were surrounded by youths and killed last week. Actually, I was about to say something wild, you know. Anyway. 16 Nigerian army soldiers were surrounded by youths and killed last week after they attempted to quell, that's the word, yeah. quell community clashes in the oil-producing southern Delta state and army spokesperson said on Saturday. The troops from 181 amphibious Battalion had responded to the conflict in Okwama community when they were killed on Thursday. The chief of defense has directed an immediate investigation and the arrest of those involved. So far, a few arrests have been made while steps are in place to unravel the motive behind the attack, he added. There are frequent clashes, sometimes deadly ones, over land or over compensation for oil spills by by energy companies in many Delta State communities. Our next headline, a video circulating online appears to show the student being pushed and punched by a white boy before being made to kiss his shoes. So this is um, about Carly Sill and about more arrests being made over the you know, assault on a black, people, um, black student. So four boys have now been arrested over the alleged attack said to have happened in the Upper, upper B area on Friday. Cumbria Const- Constabulary said abhorrent images were circulating online and urged people not to share any video. After the video went viral, the Cumbria police on Saturday morning initially arrested a teenage boy on suspicion of racially aggravated actual bodily harm and said he was aware of concerns in the community. The three others were late arrested were later arrested on suspicion of abetting racially aggravated actual bodily harm. Superintendent Sarah Jones said, we understand an incident such as this can be concerning for many, but we can reassure the community this is an incident we are taking very seriously and we have made four arrests. And our last headline for today is about a huge huge volcano which is erupted in Iceland again. So a state of emergency has been declared in Iceland after a volcano erupted for the fourth time spewing bright orange lava meters into the air. The dramatic event marks a fourth alarming volcanic eruption in three months along the Reykjavik Pen- Peninsula, nearby the abandoned town of Grindavik. Authorities had warned for weeks of an imminent eruption. Iceland's Civil Protection Agency said prior to the latest explosion since October 24th, scientists at the Icelandic Metropolitan Office have been have been monitoring a rise in seismic seismic activity on the child on the volcano okay sorry this is killing me which may signal an impending volcanic eruption scientists fear they could continue for decades and 
and Icelandic authorities have started building dikes to divert burning lava flows away from homes and critical infrastructure. But the volcano is there before the people live there. There would have been. It would have been after. It grows after the, they settle. Once the land knows that people there, then the land basically. Are you serious? It sounds like a joke. No, he's being sarcastic. I was thinking they sound like a joke. You're a mug. No, but I'm asking a serious question. Can I tell you why? I'm even annoyed that you that you even allowed him to continue for that long. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I was, I was thinking... looking. No, because I was exp- I was waiting <laughs> for you to interject, and then I just thought Esther, d- 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 like, <laughs> do you know what? Because he started here, and then I was like, I didn't want to jump. <laughs> when I jump, they say I'm jumping. No, you should. So you, I thought, wait, you wait deserve to be jumped. I asked you a jumper. serious question. And you're taking a piss out of me. <laughs> no, I thought it was too a late. Joke. Too late. It was a joke too question. late, man. Too late. <laughs> you know damn well it's not a work of joke segment. You know damn well. I was asking a genuine question. I dare you to clip this. I I'll, dare I'll you. Never. Babiel, you leave this alone. <laughs> you leave this <laughs> alone. You and Babiel finna get jumped. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. Anyway, let's pay some more bills and let's get into reaction. I'm waiting for this. Epic yeah. up again. Engineer. Man, we're bringing back the spirit of the cup, man. I'm telling you. Us on Coventry, man, single handedly just bringing back that FA Cup. Hmm. Just the whole feeling. I don't want to say magic because magic speaks to. Well, FA Cup. Well, Coventry brought back the magic of the cup because mm. the magic's usually about um, the underdog, mm. the lesser team. You guys the giant killers. You get what I'm trying to say? You guys that are speaks. Giants. Huh? Just waking up. Exactly. That's why I'm not saying it's not the magic of the cup. There weren't no magic, but I'm just saying. We're making the FA Cup great again. Mm. You get me? Mm. Almost single-handedly, because no one ever cares about the FA Cup. But this weekend, there was a change in the tide, don't you wow. think? 100%. You, you feel it, innit? Yeah, I feel it. Did you watch the game? I did. I did. I didn't I didn't understand too tough Liverpool, though. Why? What didn't you get? Because I wanted for? them to win, right? Because yeah. obviously, I've been watching them, because obviously they're our rivals, mm-hmm. right? And I have been for a while. Um, but then they didn't turn up against you. They did. No, they didn't. They did. No, they didn't. That was a great game. That was one of the best. It FA was end to end at certain I've points, hundred percent. In, but in a long, I expect long, long them to time. do more. No, they tried. They done their thing. They they came. They went into the second half winning two one. That first half, we we was on them. It's nothing to do with them. You get me? When they stop City playing, you don't talk about. City, you're talking about what Liverpool doing. Like, we stopped them playing. We was our press was our press was elite. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? That like, mm. making good decisions, good in possession. Mm. Really should have took more more of the chances. You get me? And obviously they just turned the game on its head before the half. Mm. Second half was more them. You get me? And you thought the game was done, but no, nah, man. It was just it was it was just a good game. It was mm. it was a. Um, it was mad. It was it was mad. Did you see how it finished with all like with the back line and all that? Yeah. The back four, um, Anthony left back, Bruno centre back yeah. with Maguire Brave, right? and Delona. It's just desperate, isn't it? Obviously, you make the changes, you make the attacking changes to, to get back into the game, and then you get back into the game and it's like, ah, oh, my changes are made. What am I gonna do? I've got to play half hour like this. Yeah. I guess they were kind of screwed. I don't know, I don't know whether it was Bruno on a captain thing that said to them, man, they know like I got this. Yeah. If that makes sense. There might have been other man. Obviously, none of them are centre backs, but there might have been someone else you might have thought you might be a bit better at a centre back. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. know, McTominay or so. I don't know, but it's like it looked like Bruno said, "No, no, no, I got this. Mm. I know what I'm doing." Mm. And then that um, that Ugo was playing up front. Harry what? Maguire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he came on and influenced the game a lot. He, he did. He, he done. He, he done his he part. Did. He did. It was just a good game when it got to like when it got to like three one. Was it three one? Am I going crazy? Nope. Nope. It went 2-2. Two, two. Yep. Then 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. When it got to the 3-2, I think that was... I not, thought it was over. Not Wilson. What's his name? Elliot? Harley, yeah. Harvey Elliot? Deflection. But yeah, when it got to 3-2, I said, done. But then... You made a good go of it. This is in keeping... In. You all remember who you were. Football heritage, innit? Remember where you were. And you just keep going. <laughs> and you just keep going. That, that Rashford, last goal, whew, that guy was just going back, going back, going back, going back. I'm thinking, hey, Played it well, played it well. And I didn't think he played the ball well. I enough. thought it was a bad pass. And then the guy slipped a little bit. Uh, cause I thought it was a bad pass to Diallo. And, and I thought, because when I'm watching it in real time, I'm thinking, ah, what is he going to... I thought he was going to try and pass the ball back to 
to um, Garnacho and mess it up, yeah. basically, because of just yeah. the way that it went. Exactly. Like, me. I'm, I'm having the glory. Because that wasn't even like a, that wasn't like a cold shot, yeah. if that makes sense. Obviously, he, he done his thing. He put it where thing. he needed to put it. He put it exactly where he needed to put it. Yeah, cool. But it wasn't like, I can't explain it. Like, it wasn't, it was, no, it was I, like I understand. desperate, innit? I, I it was understand. Like, yeah, it was yeah. wild. Took the touch out, went out a bit wild, hit it, done it, got the got the second yellow. <laughs> you get me? Like it was just, yeah, it was crazy. It, it was crazy. That was that was. That was, was he's a, like, oh crap, my head, my head head was gone. I lost it. And it he was, was walking off. Oh crap. Yeah, it was a it was a big game, big result for Ten Hag. He mm. needed that. Mm. He needed that definitely. You get me? To move like his job would have been in the balance. It's still in the balance either way. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? They probably. Airmarking other managers for the position now, and I suppose we we'll just have to just see what happens to the end of the season, whether they, whether he, whether he gets to buy himself another year or not. Mm. You get me? So I, I'm seeing all of the conversation or dialogue around the whole club incident, right? What you talking about? No, why about club? Um, he called a reporter dumb, and then apparently he called him fat, but I I implied that he was like out of weight. Out, um, yeah, he wasn't. His his body shaming. Oh, he said, but uh, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't even see it like that. To be honest, shouldn't, shouldn't managers be allowed to basically say more? Shouldn't they change the rules a bit? If you ask a stupid question, you should get a stupid answer. Yeah, I suppose. Klopp always does that though. Always calls people dumb. He don't suffer fools. He, if he don't like a question or anything, just think he's like he gets his back up about it. He always says it. You, you, you essentially ask man like, are you an idiot or something? You say that that was me. That like, that's a stupid question. Why you ask me that stupidness for? I've seen him do that a couple of times. I don't know if he necessarily gets in trouble for it or not. I don't know what the rules are on that. Obviously, I know they're not allowed to say certain things or whatever. Mm. But being like short tempered and like I don't know if that's illegal. Call back, please. Who was that? Um, Chims. I think he's a United supporter. I don't think he's Liverpool. I'd prefer the Liverpool. I don't think Chim is Chim's United. Yeah, he's United. I thought it was United. Boy, we've got a Liverpool pull up, a Liverpool supporter that wants to call up. You get me? Oh, the... he was at the game. Oh, was he? Yeah. Oh, call up, man. I want to know what was going on, man. The atmosphere, man. Call back, please. It, it was a big game, Here man. Hello? Boom, talk to us. Good morning, by the way. Mark, uh, my voice is still gone, bro. Mugs, you're talking down the thing, man. You're the famous <laughs> man, you know. We're off to Wembley, bro. Don't be sounding all humble. We need to just dunk on the scouses, bro. We're doing it, man. Talk about it proper. We need more say, vim. Say I'm not doing it, it justice. We need, bro. What's happened to bury me in the Stratford then, bro? Yeah, Talk still, about it, bro. I'm still going there. Come on, man. Do you know Talk what it is? About it. We got. We got we got another we got another trip to the finals. We should dispatch a Coventry nicely. You know what I'm trying to say that. So we got another. Oh, trip to nah, the we're gonna dunk. We're gonna dunk on Coventry, man. Nah, nah, nah. There's a small boy still. Don't worry about that. Still, nah, hopefully, nah. Chelsea, Chelsea, hopefully Chelsea we'll could do us a job. What did you say? So you all are confident that you're gonna beat Coventry? Yeah, we should be. Oh, uh, what? That's light work, bro. If we don't beat That's Coventry, it's an upset. There's nothing wrong with us being confident about being Coventry now. We're supposed to. Be. We should be. Okay. Nah, we're we'll dunk on these, man. That's how we're supposed to be. We'll dunk on these. If you obviously, yeah. The way it's looking, the way it's looking, Arsenal. But as it stands now, of course. The, the way it's looking, Arsenal are going to have another trophy for the season still. What are you, man, telling me? Yeah, I feel like they are, you know. That's what I was thinking whilst I was watching the game. Um, Would you say that if you'll win the FA Cup, you had a better season than us? <laughs> yeah, and you don't win nothing. That is yeah, fascinating. straight. That's just what it is. Yeah, if we if we if That's we won the FA Cup this year, so what? So Ten Hag's come in, and Ten Hag, who's been so terrible, who's got who who got um, Champions League qualifications and a League Cup in his first year. Then in his second year, hopefully we can get top four again, and then an FA Cup. And in that space of time, Arteta's just been woofing on the net. Just vibes. Just vibes. Just woofing bro. in the yard. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, at some point, you got to look in the mirror. If that's a big yeah, ifs, isn't it? But if that is the situation when we're in the off season and we're looking back at it over the past two seasons, how they've gone on, and that's your situation, I don't understand why you'd be looking with pride. Because like last this. last season, Brent was talking about how he was like satisfied with the direction Arsenal are going. What's the direction if it's trophyless again? Yeah, Do you get I, it? I, like, I what's the like, what's the sign? What's the telling you? I don't. I don't measure um, the same way you all measure. I find it's wild for me. 
to say that our season was a flop if we don't win a trophy. Okay, cool. Which is crazy to us. Okay, which is crazy. Which is because I'm laying it's it out. We're the only team in the bloody league. So I'm laying it out in simple terms. And so it's a hypothetical. It's not there yet. But just try, just just try and think for me. It's just simple terms. I'm literally just repeat what I just said. If at the end of this season you look back at Ten Hag's first two seasons, yeah, and we've got top four League Cup, top four FA Cup. That's him, yeah. And in that space of time, Arteta's got nothing. And none. You don't. Uh, what are we saying then? What are you yeah. saying? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to compute the stupidity I'm hearing. How's it stupidity? You do realize, just before the game finished, you were saying Ten Hag's job is in danger, and now you're saying now that he might win the FA Cup, he was. You don't want Ten Hag to stay on. I've said that's, that's because of our danger. standards. That's you because don't of our want standards, him to stay on. Bro. I, I don't it. understand what you're talking to me. I, what are you saying to me? If that's because of our standards. We, if bro, we've been, we've on, been, we've been believe, bred within high believe, standards. They believe in his mission. They believe what's going on. And they believe he's the man that can take them forward. And we've got money, and they're going to invest. I've got no issues with my manager. Wow. This if is don't, crazy. Yeah, no, no, yeah, 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 are you under the same illusion that Ten Hag is going to bring you all, I give bring you all back to where you all are supposed to be, quote unquote? We don't know. Well, no one ever said that. Because you have to, we have to see where it's you going. Don't like no one ever said stopped watching. No one ever said he's going to bring us back to where we're supposed to be. You stopped watching. Why did you say that? What do you mean? Why did you say you stopped watching football? Why? Because I didn't like the performances. Which performances? Man United, right? Yeah. But now you're back. No, you want him to stay? I never said I'm back. I never said, you never told, what do you mean now I want to stay? You never heard me on this, you never heard me tell me I want Ten Hag to go. So what do you mean now I want I him to stay? I just asked you just now. And I just, I never said yes, and I wanted to go. you said if he's backed by Ineos, then yes. What do you mean? You just said just now, if he's backed by Ineos. I've never said I want Ten Hag to go anyway. Do you want him to, st- oh, okay, cool. So you want him to stay then? Huh? You want him to stay then? If he's the man for the job, so yeah. So you stopped watching football whilst he was at the helm. Yeah. I also good... enjoyed football while he was at the helm. I'm not going to... What, do you want me to forget? No, there's, there's, you want me to forget? Yo, there's context, I've there's also, context as well, man. I've also had, had loads of fun, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed the football while he was at the helm. I've done that too. So what are you talking about? To be honest, I wish all, all the best for you and Ten Hag. Okay. I want United and United fans to keep in the same st- deluded spirit. Okay. I used to be where it is that you all are currently. If you do, so you continue. do. continue. Continue. If nah, you nah, do, don't, don't compare you like this. We're not the same. We're not the same people. Man. Man. Arteta needs to go because he hasn't um, won a trophy. That's madness. If Arteta is a, has a, a big fat zero, trophyless zero title again, this, again this Sorry. season, yeah. You don't yeah. have to look in the mirror. It's not work on me. Sorry. There's no work. We're just, t- we're just stating the facts. Question. Who's going to win the league this season, the Premier League? In my opinion. Liverpool City. Well, yeah, but I would have got Arsenal. Arsenal don't have, have, have the I, I, I can't, I can't hear two people, people at once. He said Liverpool and City. If I go out on a limb and pick one, I would say City. But yeah, it's Liverpool and City. At the beginning of the season, where did you have us? What, you got? I don't know, like fourth, fifth or something? We weren't fourth. You said we're going to miss out in Champions League. Okay, cool. It'd be funny. But in my mind, I had you got back. And are you now convinced that we are not who you thought we were? Yeah, you're also not who you think you are. I'm also convinced. You're but at the same you time, are. you're not who you think you are. Do you get do we... it? Both are the same. I'm also, I'm, I'm also, I'm, I'm convinced that you ain't what I thought you were. I'm also convinced one that you ain't time, who you think Mags, you are. One at you first seen as you're in front of me, who do you think that I think we are? Um, title challenges. Are we title challenging? No. We're not currently no. title challenging? Oh, this season here, it's a free what am I? What am I saying? Am I speaking French? Huh? I know you don't understand French. I can give you a blight if it is I'm saying something and you don't understand me. <laughs> I just asked you just now, are we title challenging now? This season, yes, a free horse race. Thank you very much. Yeah, and yeah, I can only yeah. talk about the present. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is after the, we get to the end of the season, yeah, and you don't win, and then we have to look back at this no, no, season, no, 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 no. then this season step, before, step, so then it's like, you're cos- you your cosplaying. Question, your cos- who do you think what I'm trying to say is your cos- I think we are? Your cos- what did you say? Your what did you say? Your cosplaying is title challenges. challenges, right? Because you're title challenging right now. You, are we title challenges? You said yes. No, so, saying, am I deluded? You're not deluded. By your own admission, am I deluded? Thank you very much. By my own admission, I'm not going to wait. How about you? You do realize you're cosplaying. You had a chance. You're cosplaying. You had a chance. Okay, go on. How about you, Chims? Chim Chimini? <clears throat> no, 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 you lot are not title challenging still. It's no, 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 right no, 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 no,
<laughs> height of delusion. And this is, this is off the back of one game. The thing is, anything that happened between an, uh, um, United and Liverpool, it's a flipping rivals. Anything could happen. Anything. No one's not screaming United's back. You we had a great day crazy. and we're just enjoying it. You guys are crazy. We had a good crazy. day. We just got a trip to the final. We just got a trip to the final. We just beat our, our fiercest rivals. We're having a good day and we're enjoying it. No one ain't moving Honestly, around telling you we're back. Uh, Liverpool, I don't understand. Liverpool ain't been your face as rivals for some time. Liverpool are always our face as rivals. And Liverpool haven't been your face as rivals for some time. Why do you say that? Levels. What did you always say? <laughs> what always for Why is there levels? <laughs> Bob, in the last in the last six seasons, we finished above them three times. You know how crazy that is? Apparently, this is the best Liverpool era we've seen in time. But we finished above them three times in six seasons. I really, our, I, really hope, I really hope um, y'all win this FA Cup, you know. Because right. this type of madness... Will, don't worry about us. This type of madness is crazy. It's I don't know what you're projecting into by this type of madness. I don't see no madness. I don't hear no hype. I don't hear no nothing. I just I just see United fans enjoying a win over a good Liverpool team. So I don't, I don't get what you're saying. Right. We're enjoying that we're going to get another trip to Wembley mm. from when was two seasons mm. in a row. Mm. We're getting comfortable there. Mm. Comfortable. <laughs> and hopefully we can do that. Yeah, I, love you lot. I hope you all have a good day, yeah? Later, later, Thanks, thank James. you very much for calling in. If, um, you if um, Chelsea do us a favour, we could potentially have a good day. I don't mm. want to back City in the final again. Oh, no? Why? No. Not confident? No. I hear you. Well, hopefully Chelsea can do you guys a favour. Come on, Greek. Okay. What else is there to read? Why does this always happen to me? Well, yeah, um, there's other FA Cup news. Newcastle got beat 2 0 by Man City. You get me? So they are through to the semis. Got a serious lineup against Chelsea. Again, I'm saying I hope Chelsea do the job for us. It's definitely possible. It's the Cup, man. Anything can happen in the Cup, man. Not them, man. Out. Chelsea United final, then we'll see what happens. Um, um, there was Premier League results that were important, especially for us, for United chasing that top four. Uh, Villa dropped points. They drew 1-1 with West Ham in it. Um, yeah, and yeah. Spurs, Spurs got slapped by Fulham. Yeah. That was wild. But Fulham, Fulham played decent, man. They did. I didn't they catch. Beat us, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I didn't catch the whole game. I watched, but like from the first, I, I think I only managed to see the first five yeah, ten minutes. Yeah, and they was man. on. They was looking spicy that like they chose violence from mm. Jump Street. So, Fulham are a good team, man. They're a good outfit. I didn't expect Spurs to get the to get the, get the three 0 because they've been doing they've been doing their thing. But it's all good, man. It all helps us. I think we got a game in hand on Villa. I think we're on the same games as Spurs. I'm not sure, but if they lose their next one and we win our next one, then it's three points. I mean, there's still it's the business end of the season, man. There's a lot to play for, man. We'll see what's going on. Um, on our last few headlines, our boxing news. Um, Joe Joyce stopped Cash Ali in in the final thirty seconds on his return to action. So yeah, Joe Joyce marked his return to action with a win on Saturday as he stopped Cash Ali in the final round of their all British heavyweight encounter in Birmingham. Joyce was um, looked to respond to back-to-back -back stoppage defeats to heavy hitting Zhang in 2023, which cost him a WBO interim title while pegging him back significantly in his bid to earn a shot at the full world title. The laboured performance might have been expected for the juggernaut on a night when the result held more weight than the display as Joyce um, looks to resume his climb towards the division's frontrunners. Um, as the pair traded shots in the final exchanges, Joyce produced the decisive blow with a thumping right jab to leave Ali on the canvas before being counted out by the referee in the final 30 seconds of the 10th and final round. And our last piece of boxing news is about Dillian White. And he stopped Christian Hammer in the third round for victory in his first fight since November 2022. So Dillian White made an explosive return to boxing with a third round stoppage of Christian Hammer in his first fight since November 2022. White has been cleared to resume his career after a positive drug test recorded ahead of a scheduled clash with Anthony Joshua last August was revealed to have been caused by a contaminated supplement with White 
um, always protesting his innocence. The 35-year-old fighting in Castle Bear Island on St. Patrick's Day beat Hamar in a quick in quick time after his Romanian-born rival was hauled out ahead of the fourth round. White took his pro record to 30-3 and three, with his only defeats coming at the hands of Tyson Fury, Alexander Povetkin and Joshua. That is not bad still. And that is the end of our sports headlines. Let's get into Donna here. I'm supposed to go ahead, usually I go ahead and get my segment ready, but I didn't do that today. There's something... Just blame the manual, to be honest. Yeah, it could just blame the manual. No buffer. There was no buffer in it. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> There's something here that says you got to see it to believe it. And I haven't seen it. Mm. So maybe we should just press it and do it in real time. Real time. All right. So if you can get that for me, Brent, and just see it. Oh, I'd have to see it. I don't I don't have a clue what this is, by the way. It just says you have to see it to believe it. So let's see it. And let's see what we believe. Is it a video or anything? Uh, mm. <coughs> What's the title? Insurance. insurance fraud star has both legs amputated after immersing them in dry ice for 10 hours in a plan to claim 1 million payout. What? What kind of foolishness is this? Have we got visual aids by any chance? I am waiting for this page to load. My computer's been moving very buggy since the update. I should have read this story. Did he get... So it's a scam. Taiwan. Northern Taiwan. This is Taiwanese. Has it... Oh, that's not good. Is this him in the dry ice? Yeah. For 10 hours? Oh. Why is there picture evidence of it? I don't understand what he was doing. Is he trying to... Was he trying to defraud the insurance people or something? Brent, help me. Go back to the top, please. One second. I'm so confused. Uh, a man has been charged with insurance fraud after trying to claim over one million pounds for a double amputation caused by alleged self-inflicted frostbite. Investigators accused the man, identified only by his surname Chang, of deliberately immersing his legs in a bucket filled with dry ice for 10 hours in order to claim money from insurers when his limbs were amputated for frostbite last February. One second, one second. So the plan didn't go, that was the plan. He was, he would plan to get his legs amputated and then say that it was because of something else. Like, was he just supposed to mash his legs up and get the money, but then got them amputated? Or the 24 that's... year old suspect claimed he suffered the injuries after riding his scooter on a cold evening in Northern Taiwan, suffering blistering injuries as a result. But Taiwan's Criminal Investigation Bureau said investigators were alerted when insurers flagged suspicious claims and found he had taken out several high payout packages just day, days before the alleged scooter trip. The CIB noted in their report that Taiwan is a subtropical region and there are, as a result, no known cases of serious frostbite requiring amputation due to natural climate factors in the flatlands. Who um, wants to choose to be amputated? And this is what I'm trying to... I'm Honestly, I'm trying to compute and trying to work this out, yeah. Did his plan go wrong and then he had to get amputated? His or plan was his plan was always well, to get amputated? Yes, and then claim that it was an accident. Is he a fool? A big, big fool. He didn't want his legs anymore. Do you think, do you think your legs are worth one million pound? Would you give someone both your legs one million pound? No. But Taylor Swift's legs are the highest insured <laughs> legs in America. <laughs> they are. It's actually, yeah, it's yeah, actually yeah. a thing. It is a thing. Yeah, so. How much are your legs worth, Jean? Nothing. Are they worth something? No, as in that. Uh, <laughs> 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 you don't even try it. <laughs> as in, there's no price. You can't pay me enough to give away my legs. Priceless. They're priceless. Like, I see it. I see I it. I couldn't. I could have. I could give you a toenail for free. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I need everything. That's why God mm. gave it to me. This guy's an idiot. This guy's an actual fool. That is mad. You put the value on your legs and then you go through all that. 
then you actually use them. And then and then you lose them, and then now you're not getting paid out for it. That's and then I don't. Why is he not getting paid out for it? Because he because this it's bait. They clocked it. They clocked it. He's oh. talking about frostbite in sub-Saharan. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he's in his garden with an ice bucket. <laughs> oh, mug. Taiwan, baby. <laughs> frostbite in Taiwan is brazy. <laughs> they said in the history of Taiwan, um, mm. no one in the record books has ever got this but him. Mm. And he chopped his legs off. Yeah, that is pure foolishness. Pure foolishness. Like, pure foolishness. He has definitely done it here. Yeah. Well, a hair brain died there on a Monday morning. Yeah, that was an open and shut case, man. Love it. Yeah, he has done it, man. Let's get into our outro. All right, people. Nice to start the week. Thank you for joining us, starting your week with us. We do appreciate it. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that great stuff. Also, big up our researchers. Big up everybody, okay? Big up everybody. If you tuned in this morning, if you're mm -hmm. feeling great, you're feeling wonderful even if you're feeling down big up yourself all right just big up everybody uh follow us on our social media platforms the day after tnb on instagram twitter tiktok and discord people be chatting in there so join uh if you want to send dilemmas in the number is 075 you can text you can drop a whatsapp all that great stuff but if you rather email um the email address which you can also use if you want to inquire about the show or feature on the show the email address is the day after at the new black dot com. I hope everybody's well. Have a great Monday and we'll see you guys back here tomorrow. We have a guest tomorrow. So, and it's not email. Peace. So, yeah. See ya.